Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. This isn't this isn't the Pooh Bear we grew up with. This is not it. This is not it. And I'm not mad about it at all. I am not mad about it at all. You know what I'm talking about? Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Make sure you guys go check it out. It definitely worth the, it's it's worth the watch. I'll say that. I will say that. Now, if you're going there looking for like a really good movie, you're you're going for the wrong reasons. You're going for the wrong reasons. You're going there just to, for some, mess up your childhood. For others, like myself, enhance it, make it better. <laughs> you know, but um, like yeah, it wasn't a good movie by any means, but it was entertaining. It was fun. There was cool kills in it. There was titties, and. It was just one of those, like, you just wanted to see where they were going with this. You wanted to see blood, guts, and boobs, basically. You know, you wanted some cool kills with this. You got that. Um, And basically, they go crazy because Christopher Robin abandons him. He goes to college. He goes off to college. You know, he's married and all that stuff. Then he, got, he decides to come back and visit. But uh, in between that time, basically, they just... There it was Piglet, the which oh by the way they 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 did kill an e Eeyore and after that, that's what changed like everything. That's what changed everything because they were starving whatever. Because again Christopher Robin he used to take food from them you know for them from like, sneak it from the kitchen and bring it out to them and feed them take care of them. But once he left there was no one to take care of them anymore. So they had to fend for themselves. So again like I was saying they killed Eeyore and ate Eeyore, and from then on. They just swore off like they, they're just going to kill people and they're never going to talk again, ever. They're like, they, they swore off talking and people basically <laughs> like not more. No. And you get some pretty fun action. You really do. You really do. Um, not the greatest acting, but I've seen way, 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 way worse. It wasn't like God awful acting, but it wasn't the greatest. And again, I wasn't expecting that for, for this type of story either. And sometimes, I mean, I, uh, here's the funny thing, right? Because yes, I'm talking about Winnie the Pooh. I really do feel that this movie here could have been like a really, really good movie. A good movie at the very least. Or really, no, fuck that, I'll say a really good movie. Because had they taken the, the tone was dark. But had they just took some of the humor out made him look uh because he looks fun and funny but it still made him look a little more sinister a little creepier scarier more of a serious and yes i know what you guys are thinking you're talking about winnie the pooh but more of a serious tone in the sense of how the story was like not not making it a horror comedy and i'm not complaining but i'm just saying i can see it being a good movie in those in that type of kind of like you know but I had fun with it. I think my wife had fun with it too. She she said it was better than expected, so I'm assuming she had fun with it. And like I said, I I after we left, I said I'd watch it again. I definitely would watch it again. Um, and there's gonna be a sequel. So, st spoiler alert for the end of the credits. It's there's gonna they, it just says um, Winnie will return or Winnie the Pooh will return. And that was it. There was no action. There was no, you know what I mean? So for those of you, if you're going to see it, you don't have to stay for the credits. I just told you what happened. There's going to be another one. And I forgot there. I heard people talking about it. They didn't get the rights to Tigger. So he's not going to be in it. I don't know if that can change down the road, but, um, was it Rupert or something like that could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, please. But that's what's supposed to be coming up. You know, with him in that, or her in that, Rupert, whatever. And uh, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Um, I want to see more of these films. I, I believe they're also supposed to be doing a Bambi film. I hope Tinkerbell. I hope all that, like, all that stuff. Just do it, please. Just do it. And release them in theaters. But I would love for a bigger release. I know it's easier said than done. And I know it's gonna happen one of these. I know it's gonna happen with the, one of these days with these indie films that are uh, coming up, coming out, and doing great. Terrifier two from last year was awesome. This was fun. 
I wouldn't call it awesome, no disrespect, but it was definitely a fun, fun film. And it's definitely worth a theater watch. I just wish it had a bigger release as far as not just at Regal, like around where I live. I wish it was at some adult, smaller theaters too. Save a couple bucks, enjoy it. But um, either way, had fun with it. Oh, and here's a cool thing too. Here's a really cool thing. This is why I said the whole thing about the whole indie movies doing your thing in a bigger theater, you know, more out to more theaters because at the theater today, there was a decent amount of people in that theater. There was a decent amount of people in that theater. And if you guys know, you know, the theater in Crossgates, it was actually theater six. So it was one of the older ones where there's just like, two, you know, on the very bottom, there's like two rows downstairs and then maybe three i thought it was only two and then there's the, the wheelchair seats that's you know sitting with the wheelchairs and then it's the um that you know the seats with the bars but it's just the bars that like goes across like two or three seats it's not the bar the double bar that goes all the way across all the way down and that's higher up like we sat on that level and in that theater you want to sit up on the level behind that for one but there was a good amount of people in there there was that i'll say maybe around 20 20 to 30 people honestly more or less because those people there's people still coming into that movie and the movie was like 10 minutes in this was one of those films too where it says it's, it says it's starting at seven and it starts at seven not like you know you go to the movies and it says it's starting at seven and then seven you know seven o'clock you're watching the same trailers you were just watching for the past 25 minutes waiting <laughs> waiting and now you're watching them same trailer and some other shit this one starts right at seven just to, just 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 tell you guys that but yeah that's why I feel it can have a bigger theater release, though, because, like I said, there's about 20 to 30 people in there, counting my, myself and my wife. And that's not bad. That's not bad, especially for something like this, because you don't expect it. But horror fans don't surprise me at the same time. So, and then it's the horror fans, and then it's people who grew up with Winnie the Pooh. And you clap, you mix those together, and we're just like, yeah, fuck. Yeah, I, I, I gotta see that shit. So... I'll say this. I recommend it as I recommend this movie. I really do. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a six. I'm going to give it a six. because I did have a good time with it. Overall, I had a good time with it. And it's one of those movies to where you guys know my ratings are all weird all over the place. Like if I was writing it as based on like being like an excellent film, it wouldn't be nowhere near a six. But that's not how I do my movies. Entertainment, enjoyment, all that good stuff. And just the feeling I get from that. It gives me a six. It gives me a six, and if I watch it again later on down the road, which I know I will, maybe my mind will change for higher, maybe lower. Who knows? And maybe a, a sequel, when the sequel comes out, will help one way or the other. But it's it's <clears throat> it's definitely worth it. If it's playing near you and you have the time and you have the funds, go watch it. Take somebody who you know is going to enjoy it. Take your significant other, go with some friends. But it's it's th this is oh, and if you do smoke the Mary Joanna. And you are legal age and it's legal in your state. Smoke some before you go watch this and be responsible and take an Uber or get a ride. Just saying that, you know. But uh, yeah, definitely go check this movie out. It's a six. Sturdy likes it. Yeah, Sturdy likes it. He likes it. Peace. I'll see you in your nightmares. Oh, you know what? I do have a couple things though. So, announcement. I am a part of the team, Snobs. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, Casey. My awesome co-host over there, Jason. Over on 3 Geeks Hot Podcast. Me and him are over on the team, Snobs. Take care of the horror department. And we are the Scary Snobs. So make sure you guys go check out the Scary Snobs. Our first episode dropped last this past Thursday at 11 o'clock at night. It's pre-recorded. I know that's late, but just because a lot of us have shows and stuff, so... And whenever it comes out and whenever you get a chance to watch it, just please go over there to the scene snobs and check it out. Check out the scene snobs in general. Go check out the three geeks podcast. Um, check out the Z network. Of course, guys, check out popcorn and pints, check out horror research 30. Appreciate all the likes, the share, subscribes, please keep that coming. The rates drop, drop down in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this movie. Let me know what you thought about this movie guys. Cause, uh, I'm very interested in this. I'm very intrigued to hear your guys' comments on this movie and many others. But you guys have an amazing, amazing day, night, weekend. I just hope it's all amazing for every single person that watches this video. And share it with someone else, please. But I'll see you in your nightmares.